Hey everyone, Jeff Corwin here. I'm thrilled to have you join me on this incredible adventure. Today, we're traveling back in time to one of the world's greatest dinosaur hotspots, Dinosaur Provincial Park in Alberta, Canada. This place is a true treasure trove for anyone fascinated by prehistoric life. This isn't just any park, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, recognized globally for its mind-blowing number of dinosaur fossils and its unique landscape. For over a century, scientists have unearthed more than 50 different dinosaur species here, making it a prehistoric gold mine. Every year, new discoveries add to our understanding of ancient life. The landscape is wild, strange hoodoos, deep canyons and rock layers that read like pages from Earth's ancient history. It's a place where geology and paleontology come together in spectacular fashion. We're talking about the late Cretaceous, 75 million years ago, when this place was a lush, river-filled paradise for dinosaurs. Imagine giant hadrosaurs grazing, armored ankylosaurs lumbering by, and fearsome tyrannosaurs stalking their prey. This park preserves an entire lost ecosystem, frozen in time for us to explore and learn from. But it's not just bones. Fossilized plants, pollen, and even dinosaur skin impressions help us piece together the full story of this ancient world. These clues reveal what the climate was like, what dinosaurs ate and how they lived, painting a vivid picture of their daily existence. That's what makes this park so special. It's a complete snapshot of a vanished world, preserved for us to study and marvel at. And today, we're diving into a discovery that's not about bones but about the actual steps these animals took, evidence of their movement and behavior. Get ready to walk in the footsteps of dinosaurs, literally. Let's begin our journey and uncover the secrets left behind in stone. When you think of dinosaur fossils, you probably picture massive skeletons in museums, towering bones assembled into the shapes of creatures that once ruled the Earth. These displays are awe-inspiring, giving us a sense of the sheer size and power of dinosaurs. But there's another kind of fossil that tells us what dinosaurs were actually doing. Tracks. These ancient footprints are like snapshots, capturing the real-life activities of dinosaurs as they moved through their prehistoric world. Dinosaur tracks are trace fossils, footprints, tail drags, even fossilized poop, that capture moments from millions of years ago. They're not just marks in stone, they're direct evidence of dinosaur behavior frozen in time. These tracks are like ancient detective clues, showing us how dinosaurs moved, whether they walked on two legs or four, and even how fast they went. Sometimes trackways reveal herds traveling together, or a predator stalking its prey. Unlike bones, tracks reveal behavior, how dinosaurs interacted with their world, how they may have hunted, migrated, or cared for their young. Each print is a story waiting to be uncovered. But finding these tracks is tough. They were made in soft mud or sand and had to be buried quickly to survive. Most tracks vanished with the next rain or flood, so the ones we find are rare treasures. Over time, mud turned to stone, preserving these fleeting moments. Layers of sediment built up, locking the tracks away for millions of years until erosion finally revealed them again. Today, erosion can reveal or destroy them, so paleontologists race to document these fragile windows into the past. Every discovery is a race against time and the elements. Each trackway is a unique, irreplaceable piece of Earth's history. No two are exactly alike, and each one adds a new chapter to our understanding of dinosaurs. A T-Rex skeleton is impressive, but a T-Rex footprint? That's the mark of a living, breathing animal, evidence that it once strode across the land, leaving its mark for us to find. These tracks connect us to dinosaurs in a personal way, they remind us these were real creatures, not just museum exhibits. Standing in a dinosaur's footprint, you can almost imagine walking beside it. And recently, a discovery in Dinosaur Provincial Park has given us one of the most exciting glimpses into their daily lives ever found. This site is a treasure trove, revealing new secrets with every footprint uncovered. It's time to see what these ancient footprints reveal. Let's follow the trail. Onward! Here's the game changer. In the heart of Dinosaur Provincial Park, researchers found a massive trackway, a prehistoric highway where multiple dinosaur species walked together, in the same direction, at the same time. Imagine a parade of giants, all moving as one. The tracks are preserved in the same rock layer, made within hours or days, not years. This isn't random, it's coordinated movement, like a migration, or a group journey. It's some of the strongest evidence yet that dinosaurs didn't just live side by side, they traveled together. This discovery challenges the old view of dinosaurs as solitary creatures. Instead, it paints a picture of a complex, interactive social world. 
we see big plant eaters and fearsome predators walking side by side, a mix we've rarely seen direct evidence for. Why were they together? What was their relationship? Scientists are eager to solve this prehistoric puzzle. This is like finding a snapshot from a Cretaceous nature documentary. Let's meet the stars of this ancient parade. So who exactly made up this incredible traveling group of dinosaurs, leaving their footprints for us to discover millions of years later? The tracks give us a guest list straight from the Cretaceous period, a time when the world was teeming with giants and predators. First up, the Ceratopsians, horned dinosaurs like Centrosaurus, the rhinos of their time, equipped with impressive frills and sharp horns for defense against predators. Next, an Ankylosaurid, a true walking fortress armored from head to tail with a bone-crushing tail club. These plant eaters weren't traveling alone. The tracks also reveal a small meat eater, likely a dromaeosaur, a fast, agile predator related to Velociraptor, with sickle-shaped claws and keen senses. This little carnivore probably wasn't a threat to the big herbivores. Its size made it more of an opportunist than a hunter of giants. Maybe it was following the herd for easy pickings, scavenging leftovers or hunting smaller animals. And then, the headliners. Two large tyrannosaurs, apex predators with massive jaws, powerful legs, and a reputation as the kings of their world. The most mind-blowing part? These predators were walking right alongside their potential prey, sharing the same ancient landscape. Were they hunting, stalking, or was something else entirely going on in this prehistoric scene? This surprising mix of species raises big questions about dinosaur behavior and how these animals interacted. It suggests a dynamic, complex community, one where different species crossed paths and perhaps even depended on each other in unexpected ways. Herbivores and carnivores moving together, their lives intertwined in a delicate balance. It's a prehistoric safari, frozen in stone, capturing a moment of ancient life. What could bring such different dinosaurs together in one place and time? Let's find out. The answer might surprise you, and it could change how we see dinosaur communities forever. Mixed species herds might sound strange, but we see them today. Think zebras and wildebeest on the African savanna. Different animals combine their strengths. Zebras have sharp eyes, wildebeest have keen hearing. Together, they create a powerful early warning system against predators. There's also safety in numbers. The confusion effect makes it hard for predators to single out prey. The odds of survival go up when you're part of a big diverse group. This modern behavior gives us a model for what might have happened in Dinosaur Provincial Park. The mixed species trackway suggests dinosaurs used similar strategies. Ceratopsians and Ankylosaurs may have joined forces combining horns, armor, and size for protection. It's a super herd, safer together than alone. This discovery lets us use today's ecosystems to unlock secrets of the ancient world. The past and present are more connected than we think. So why would predators and prey travel together? For the plant eaters, it's all about defense, horns in front, armor in back, and safety in numbers. A predator would think twice before attacking a group that could fight back. But what about the tyrannosaurs? Maybe they weren't hunting at that moment, just moving with the herd for safety or convenience. Even apex predators can benefit from the protection of a group, especially if bigger threats lurk nearby. Another idea, passive hunting. The tyrannosaurs could have been following the herd waiting for a weak or young animal to fall behind. The herbivores might have tolerated them as long as the predators kept their distance. The small dromaeosaur, likely an opportunist feasting on insects and small animals stirred up by the herd. In this scenario, everyone benefits. Herbivores get safety, little carnivores get easy meals, and big predators bide their time. It's a complex web of survival strategies. Dinosaurs were more social and more strategic than we ever imagined. This discovery wasn't just luck. It came from a new way of looking for fossils. Traditionally, paleontologists searched for bones, but tracks are subtle and easy to miss. The research team studied museum footprints, learning the tiny details that set real tracks apart from random rock patterns. They created a search image, a mental template for spotting even faint eroded prints. Armed with this new skill, they returned to the field and started seeing tracks everywhere. Thousands of previously hidden footprints came to light revealing a bustling world of dinosaur activity. This shift in perspective unlocked a treasure trove of new data. Now, paleontologists worldwide can use this technique to find more trackways in old and new sites. 
Sometimes the biggest discoveries come from changing how we look at the ground beneath our feet. The prehistoric world is still full of secrets, if we know how to see them. This mixed species trackway does more than add a cool story. It changes how we see dinosaurs. For years we pictured them as solitary brutes or mindless predators. But this evidence shows they had complex social lives, forming communities and making strategic choices. Predators and prey traveling together, that's a world of tolerance, risk and shared survival. It forces us to rethink old fossil sites. Maybe those bone jumbles were social groups, not random accidents. This discovery is a key, unlocking new ways to interpret the fossil record. Dinosaurs weren't just monsters, they were complex animals living in dynamic worlds. And now, we're finally starting to understand their story. This discovery proves the age of exploration isn't over. Even in well-studied places, new ideas lead to big finds. The search image technique is just the beginning. Future research will look for more mixed species herds and trackways worldwide. Technologies like drones and ground-penetrating radar will help us uncover even more. Every fossil, bone, tooth, or footprint has the power to rewrite history. The adventure of paleontology is never-ending. There's always more to learn. As we leave the Badlands, we carry a new vision of the dinosaur world, not just conflict, but community and cooperation. Our planet's history is incredible and it's up to us to protect these sites and keep searching for clues. The past is waiting to be discovered. What an amazing world!